In this lecture, we will see how we can take this UV texture from Maya, take it to Photoshop, texture paint it, and bring it back. So once we finish the UV unwrapping, we can go to Image, Create PSD Network. Make sure when you do this, your model or the object is being selected. So I'll click on the PSD Network, Create PSD Network. I'll give a name for the PSD file that I'm going to create. So I'll say character body. I'll leave all the other settings as it is and I will add a color map so we will have just the color map for now. I'll hit create so automatically it will take it will open up Photoshop and take the texture file into Photoshop. Okay so here you can see that it opens up Photoshop and it shows us the UV uh, layout that we have and it gives us the default texture that we have applied already. Now keep in mind, anything that you create has to be inside this Lambert2.color folder. Anything that's outside this will not be showing inside the color attribute. Let's go ahead and remove what we have already. We don't need the textures. We don't need the checker map. So I'll go ahead and create a new layer. Make sure that it's inside the color. And I'll start to paint some basic colors. So I will say my character is going to be mainly with yellowish color. So I'll just paint in yellow color. Make sure that my opacity is 100%. And I'll just paint out or I can simply press Alt and Backspace to fill in that color. Now to check how this color is working out in Maya, we can go to File, Save. And let's go back to Maya and check Image. We'll keep that on. Update PSD Network. So you can see that the character now becomes completely yellowish. We can start to add details. So for example, I want to have uh, a shirt that is that should be showing down here. So the character's color is yellow, meaning that the character's clothing is basically yellow. So I'll select this, press smooth to see it in smooth mode. So I'll start from here, so that would be one of the hands here. Now if you're not clear where you're painting, you can just make simple, uh, you can make simple tests to find out. So I will go ahead and change the color to black. I'll go ahead and make the brush size smaller. And this is the end of the hand, this is the beginning of the hand. So I'll start to draw something just here. I'll go ahead and save this. I'll update and see how that appears. So that's the area that I'm painting here. So I want to bring it a little bit more closer. So I'll just undo that. I'll draw somewhere more closer here. So for example, this line. So let me go back, update, so that shows here. The character's color cannot be yellow, so I will apply some kind of a skin tone on this area. So I'll go ahead and pick up something like orangish color, something like that. Okay, now I'll start to paint that somewhere here. So the area that is... Okay. Now when I do this, it's always better to make all these kinds of changes in a new layer. So I'll go to the new layer, I'll start to paint here, okay, and I will just give a sharp edge here. So I'll go to make the brush to be hard, and I'll just paint out something like that. Okay, so I'll do the same thing on the other hand. So somewhere here, so let me just make this hard. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. Check how that looks here. Okay, so that's wonderful. Now I can add some detail here for his shirt. So I'll go ahead and start painting something here. So let's say I want to have a bluish color now. Make the brush size smaller. Have some kind of bluish color. Or I can even draw with my pen tool. Okay, so that's not straight. Go ahead and draw through these lines. Okay. Okay, something like that. Something like that. Okay, so I can convert that to a selection. And I will paint in 
a bluish color okay so that's good enough maybe I'll create a couple of these shapes I'll push this down a bit not like that just want to push the selection down here okay now I'll paint out control D let me save this and see how that looks you can see that it gives you two stripes okay now I'll create a neck here so the neck would be coming somewhere here for the neck I'll take a new layer again I'll choose my pen tool so I'll draw something like that press control enter and just paint out so you can just go ahead and save that come back here so you can see that that shows the neck now any places if you find it is not having a smoothness here for example here it looks a bit harsh right so you can check out the same place here and you can try to make it a bit smooth here so this is I, I guess it has to be this area okay so it looks a bit sharp so I will go ahead and choose the eraser tool uh, for example and try to avoid a bit of sharpness there and a bit of sharpness here so let me just go ahead and save that update that is updated in the back side and you can see that the back is not matching up which we will have to fix okay so that has to be I think probably here okay let's check that out update yes so that's being fixed now right uh, but we've got some problem in the back back is basically the connecting area here so you can see that here it is thin but hit this side it's thicker so that is why we have a problem here so all I have to do is I'll make this both the sides to be thick so I'll go ahead and choose the brush again okay we've got the same color so I'll go ahead and try to make it a bit thicker here okay so make it a bit smaller okay so let's see if it is thick enough let's go ahead and update it's trying to make it match up but it's not good enough so far so I'll have, I'll have to make it more thicker okay so let's save that try again update there you go uh, it went a little bit too much now I'll have to reduce that let me take the brush uh, eraser tool so it's a bit of trial and error process we can go through that and we can finalize control s uh, okay just a little bit of difference I'll just go ahead and just add one more pixel there control s update so that matches up nicely okay so the same thing you can do here also control s so let me go ahead and update so that one side is fixed now we can do the same thing on the other side just a little bit control s update so that fixes it so this process you can repeat again and again to make the entire design that you want so if you want to have a double double line here you can also do that so say for example I've got the shoulder there that's good enough so I'll draw another line I'll do it quickly I'll go ahead and choose a pen tool so I'll start from here one and then in the middle so something like that okay and one at this end okay then coming back and something like that going back here okay good enough and I'll finish up 
press control enter and paste so let's save this get back here update so you can see that you get something like that so uh, if you want you can push it up for example I'll go ahead and update that let me move that up to take it closer more closer paste it this time here control s let's get back update I forgot to save it I guess update so you can see that you get a double stroke there and then we can do the same job everywhere for example the bottom then the hip area comes here make it back here one two we'll make it a little bit angled okay choose next one next one and then something like that finish up control enter paste control s go back here update control s update so you can see that it shows the hip okay so for the pants if you want to give a different color all you can do is just paint that color so I'll go ahead and take a new layer for example and let's say I will choose something like a uh, let's say a reddish color something like that I'll go ahead and take the brush tool make it bigger let's say I will paint from here now if you think it's overlapping the other one the best choice is you can bring this above this layer so you can see that it will give you a very nice sharp result go ahead and these are the legs so for both these legs I will paint out the same color from top to the bottom okay control S go back and choose update so you can see that the bottom becomes one color and the top becomes the other color so I'll have to repeat the same thing here the side same like this design I can create it here so So now you can just save this, go back, update, and as you can see, you can create any shape you like. So if I want to show some kind of design in the t-shirt or something like that, I can also do that uh, by, let's say for example, I want to bring in this picture onto his t-shirt. So I can just bring in this picture, okay, I've got this white background, I'll get rid of that, pick up the white background get rid of that control D and I will just go ahead and place him wherever I want press control T to transform make it smaller and try to put it there I'll try to make it even smaller okay so press enter I'll go ahead and save this file go back update so that you can see that it shows up here so so whatever kind of design you want you can bring it in here So that concludes this lecture.